The MSV CP100 DLL missing error in Windows is a common issue that Windows users may face when trying to run certain applications or games. It can be frustrating, but fortunately there are solutions available to resolve this problem. In this video, we will explore the causes for the MSV CP100 DLL missing error and provide step-by-step -step instruction on how to fix it. I always say that before solving any computer related problem permanently, you should know what is the exact problem is and how it occurs. In this video, I will give you in-depth information about this error so that you don't need someone to solve this type of problem in the future. So I would recommend you to watch this video till the end. But you can directly go to this timestamp to get the solution if you want. And after watching this video, if your problem is solved, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Now when you come to across the MSV CP100 DLL missing error, it means that specific DLL file which is a part of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package is either corrupted or missing or incompatible with that specific software you are trying to run. This dynamic link library also known as DLL file contains important functions that various applications depend on to run correctly. What are the causes of the MSV CP100 DLL missing error? The MSV CP100 DLL missing error typically occurs in Windows when the system is unable to locate the required DLL file. This DLL file is a part of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package which is necessary to run applications that are built using Visual C++. There are several reasons why this error may occur. The MSV CP100 DLL file may be missing or corrupted either due to accidental deletion, malware infection or faultly installation or uninstallation of a program. Incompatible or outdated Visual C++ redistributable package. If the install version of the Visual C++ redistributable package is incompatible with the application or outdated, it may lead to this missing error. Registry issue. Problem with the Windows registry such as invalid or incorrect entries related to the MSV CP100 DLL file can cause the error to appear. Now come to the solutions to fix the MSV CP100 DLL missing error. To resolve this DLL missing error, you can try these solutions. First of all, go to your control panel, then click uninstall a program and check if the Microsoft Visual C++ package is installed or not. If installed, then continue the process. If not, then directly go to step 2. Install MSV CP100 DLL file only. There is a 80% chance of solving this DLL missing error just by downloading and moving the specific DLL file to your Windows. To do that, just search the DLL file name, then go to this website. I will put this website link in the video description. Scroll down and you can see the download option. Now download any of this based on your system type 64 bit or 32 bit. To check your system type, open my computer, right click properties. And from here you can see your system type. Now just download the required DLL file and go to the C drive. Then go to windows folder and search for system32. Now watch this carefully. If your system is 32 bit, then move your DLL file into system32 folder. If your system is 64 bit, then move your DLL file into syswap64 folder. After this, restart your computer and try to open the software again. After that, you will most likely get a new warning about another DLL file is missing. You can just search the DLL file name on Google and download that file. Move that file to the same folder as you did last time. This way, computer will show you each DLL file one by one which is required to run the software. All you need to just download that DLL file and repeat the step and then restart your computer and try to open the software. If your problem is not solved, then you can go to step 2. Reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. Download and install the latest version of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package from the official Microsoft website. To download that, you can directly search on Google Microsoft Visual C++ then your system type like Windows 10 64-bit. 
Remember to download only from Microsoft official website. Don't download from other websites. I will put this website link in the video description. Now if your Windows is 32 bit then download x86 version. If 64 bit then download x64 version. Once it's downloaded simply open the setup file. You can either uninstall the previous version of C++ and install the fresh package or you can repair the existing C++ package. But I would recommend you to do a fresh install. After that restart your system and your problem will be solved. If still having the same problem then check for windows updates. Keeping your windows operating system up to date can often resolve compatibility issues. Check for the windows updates and install the available update to ensure you have the latest runtime components. After updating your windows restart your system. If you get the same error message after this reinstall the affected application. If the missing error occurs with a specific application or game, try to uninstall and reinstall it. You must check how to properly uninstall a program or a software. I already created a dedicated video on this topic. Reinstalling a program ensure that all the necessary files including the msvcp100 dll file are correctly installed. Prevention tips for the dll missing error. To avoid any DLL missing error in the future, consider the following preventive measures. Keeping Windows and Software Update Regularly update your Windows operating system and installed software to ensure you have the latest version and compatible runtime components. Using reliable source for software installation. When installing new applications or games, download them from the trusted source to minimize the risk of encountering missing DLL error or malware. Creating System Restoration Point Before making significant changes to your system such as installing new software or driver, create a system restoration point. This allows you to revert to a stable state if any issues arise. I already make a dedicated video on the system restore point. You can check that video to create a system restore point. So guys that's all for this video. Hope your problem is solved. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. And comment below if you have any computer related issue or you can directly DM me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.